We have all seen helicopters. They can take off and land vertically, and even be stationary in flight, or hover at a particular altitude. These maneuvers cannot be performed by a commercial aircraft. Hello, and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at the basics of helicopter flight. Before we look at how helicopter flight is possible, we need to look at the parts of a helicopter. This is the fuselage, which holds the cockpit, crew, passengers, and cargo. This is the main rotor system that generates the lift. This is the tail rotor installed at the end of the tail boom. The engine is installed in the fuselage and is connected to a transmission system that transfers power to the main rotor. This is the landing gear, which is often skids. It is used to support the weight of the helicopter on ground. Now let's look at how does a helicopter fly? The main rotor of a helicopter is known as rotary wings. Aircraft have fixed wings. To generate lift, air must flow across the wings. For producing lift, an aircraft must move forward. In a helicopter, lift is created by the rotation of the main rotor blades. These blades have an airfoil shape. The main rotor spins very fast. During this rotation, low pressure is created over the top surface of the blades and the main rotor. High pressure is created under the bottom surface. This pressure difference generates the lift force for the helicopter. By adjusting the blade pitch angle, the helicopter can climb or descend. An increase in pitch angle causes the helicopter to climb. A decrease in pitch results in a descend. This is a basic up and down flight of a helicopter. How does the helicopter move in different directions? The movement of the helicopter is achieved by tilting the main rotor. The direction in which the main rotor is tilted, the helicopter will move in that direction. By tilting the rotor forward, the helicopter moves forward. Tilting it backwards will result in backward movement of the helicopter. Tilting it sideways will result in movement towards that side. We saw the functions of the main rotor. Let's see why the tail rotor is installed. The tail rotor requirement is linked to Newton's third law. This law states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction. The main rotor's rotation is required to generate lift and for flying in different directions. The rotation of the main rotor is the action. The reaction is that the fuselage will try to spin in the opposite direction. To counteract this reaction on the fuselage and to keep the helicopter stable, the tail rotor is installed. This rotor generates a sideways thrust to balance the reaction. There are some helicopters which do not have a tail rotor. This is applicable in helicopters that have two main rotors. These rotors rotate in opposite directions, so the forces are balanced out. That's all for my video on the basics of helicopter flight. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.